Hello, Meow Wolf. So I've got a, a hunk of silicone here, and this is the exact silicone I would be using. It's roughly the same thickness, um, and I just want to describe because I know you guys are probably really concerned about the durability of this stuff. People are going to be touching it constantly. They're going to be pushing on it. It's going to be pushing on them, and it's a definitely understandable the amount of traffic you guys get through there that you're going to want to know more about the durability. So this is called Dragon Skin 30. It's made by a company called Smooth On and they provide tons of information on their website about their products. They make all sorts of sculptural products. Um, you can think of like Disney World animatronics. This is the same stuff they're using for that. So think about like you know, those animatronics are running day in, day out, and they have a certain amount of give, especially in like a facial animatronic that's talking. Uh, you're looking at something that is stretching constantly, but it keeps its shape over years and years. Um, it's rated for 20 years, and after that point, it's it can still continue on, but the surface might degrade slightly. So, with Dragon Skin, on the, on the Smooth On website, they rate certain items on a shore hardness scale. And you'll look at that chart and think, well, this is a low shore hardness, so it must not be very durable. It's not the case. They measure the shore hardness with a needle. And they, what they do is they have a gauge with a needle on it and they push the needle into it. So, And when it punctures, that's where they measure the shore hardness. So this has a shore hardness of 30 A is what they call it and basically it's the same as an insole um, for your shoes. So if you think of those gel insoles it's the same material it's just a lower quality but you can think about how those insoles are day in day out being pounded by the weight of a, bo a person's body and how low quality those insoles are and the gel is still holding up. So um, th there's a lot of other comparisons out there. I'll show, show you guys some. Um, but this is also medical grade. So it's non-toxic. It's They use it in prosthetics as well. So medical prosthetics, like you think of a person without a leg, this is what they make the prosthetic leg out of. These materials are when it's loose like this, this is the only hunk that I really had that was this thick to show you guys, but I've, I've done sculptures that are about this thickness and they've held up for over a decade and people touch them all the time. So um, the way I would design the sculpture is it, it wouldn't just be this. It would have a what's called a reinforcement cloth and I can show you images of that embedded behind it. And so that would give it much more structure. It would keep any kind of overly stretching because the problem is it doesn't wear down, but if you stretch it too far, it will tear. And I'll show you guys an example of that very quickly. Um, so you can also patch it, you can cut it. Uh, if I were to do this project, it would be, I would have molds, silicone molds, and you could always recast it. If you recast a part of the mold, you could recast the whole mold. You can stitch pieces together with a uh, special silicone epoxy, um, and it looks, it's completely seamless. There's no uh, cuts or anything. It's, it's like a solid piece when you epoxy it together. And I'll show an example of if someone were to take a knife and stab it, you, you could easily fix it in a matter of minutes. So, so I'll talk about painting real quick. Um, you can dye the silicone with pigments as it's being molded. So it's impregnated with color and that color is not going to rub off. It's not going to come off in any way. It's inside embedded in the material itself. You can also paint the outside of it. And I've talked with Smooth On and they said it's perfectly gonna hold up to a touch, the everyday touch of a Meow Wolf exhibition. And so 
you can airbrush it, which is probably what I would do just to give the more color and a differentiation in the uh, just the different areas of it. So I would do a light airbrush. It wouldn't be a whole, you know, the whole thing extensively painted, but it would just give some more color to the extended parts of the sculpture. So I'll leave a ton of information in the bottom part and there'll be links to all the charts. You can call Smooth On and just talk to them and ask them about their, their product. They're, they really stand behind it. It would also have a foam backing. So behind the silicone, we're talking about maybe like a memory foam type material. It could be just a, as simple as a fire retardant memory, to, uh, memory foam mattress topper or even uh, just a similar material that is fire retardant just to keep things as safe as they can be. So, uh, thank you so much. I I'm, I'm hope you guys find who you're looking for. I'm so excited for Denver and um, thanks again.